اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to focus on moderation analysis with categorical variables in Smart PLS 4. Now let's assume this is our model. In this particular model we have two variables, two latent variables, organizational commitment, perceived organizational support and another latent variable that is affected by these two variables. However, in this case we have got type of bank that is conventional. 0, Islamic, 1, that is there are two categories or two types of banks. One is conventional, the other is Islamic. And this particular moderator, that is your categorical moderator, moderates these two relationships. So this is your H1 and this is your H2. And the hypothesis is type of bank moderates the relationship between organizational commitment and organizational culture. H2 is type of bank moderates the relationship between perceived organizational support and organizational culture or collaborative culture. Now how do we run these hypotheses in Smart PLS? Now before we look at the R square change, the F square, all these things, let's run our model. So here is the model. How did I get this model? We've got our variables here. Let me remove all this and add it again. So where is your POS? Here it is. Enter. Indicators to the left. Organizational commitment. Here it is. To the left, let's hide the indicators, Alt X. Okay, now before you test the model for moderation, make sure you do check the reliability and validity because that's that's the natural process for structural equation modeling. You first do your measurement model analysis and then you do your structural model analysis. Now this is part of structural model analysis whereby we are assessing the hypothesis. So now let's connect these here. This will go here and the type variable that is the type of bank. Here it is. Drag and drop. So let's uh, remove the zero one. Connect. Drag it. And this is the relationship being moderated. Drag it. And this is the relationship being moderated. Look at this. It turns green as, as soon as it falls on that particular relationship. Click select move it here now that your model is ready let's run it so go to calculate bootstrap 10,000 is recommended and i'm going to quickly run through it bias corrected and accelerated b c a bootstrap much stable so you should select this two tailed because i'm not sure whether this relationship is stronger in conventional bank or whether this relationship is stronger in conventional banks or islamic banks so I'm not sure about the direction of relationship. So let's keep it two-tailed and path. Let's start. Now here are our results. Now if you look here, path coefficients in t-value. Well, this is significant. This is significant as well. Well, this is insignificant. Now if you look here, let's go to report and look at this type significant so this shows that there is a significant difference in collaborative culture between the two type of banks and since it's a positive value this shows that islamic banks have higher collaborative culture in comparison to conventional banks because there is no negative sign here and islamic banks are represented by the value one now look at this insignificant all else is significant and there is a moderating effect of the type of banks on the relationship between POS and CC and this one is significant as well. So type does moderate the relationship between POS and CC and OC and CC. And here look at this there is a negative sign. This negative sign shows that 
conventional banks have a stronger relationship. That is, the impact of POS on CC is stronger in conventional banks in comparison to Islamic banks. Whereas, here, look at this, there is a positive sign. Now, when the sign is positive, let's have a look here. In order to better understand it, now look at this. 1 meant Islamic banks, 0 meant conventional banks. Now, when there is a negative sign with the path coefficients, this means that the category that had the number 1 has lower impact in comparison to the other category. Now, in this case, Islamic banks have lower relationship. That is simplified. The relationship of POS with CC is weaker in Islamic banks in comparison to conventional banks. But here, there is a positive sign. No sign means positive sign. So, the impact of OC on CC is stronger in Islamic banks in comparison to conventional banks. Now, how do we put it in graph? Now, now that we know that, okay, our results are significant, the next step is slope analysis. How do, how do we do this? Again, I've got this two-way with binary moderator by Jeremy Dawson and the link will be shared in the description. So, let's say I've got POS here. Let me look at my hypothesis. Okay, before we go on into our hypothesis, the first one is OC. So, this one is first. So, let's put it back here. Now, before we go on, let's look at F square value here. So, here it is. Well, the F square does not have any impact. So, what does this insignificant results mean? Now, the insignificant, although it's not that insignificant, it's 0 0.09, less than 0 0.10, 0 0.05. So, we can say to a certain extent, your F square is significant, although that is weak F square values. Now, if you remove the moderating effect, this will impact the R square value for the endogenous construct. How? Let's have a look. So, if we remove this variable here, let's remove it. And let's see our R square value. Calculate. Let's do PLS algorithm. Start. And your R square value is 0.5273. Let's put it here. 0 0.5273. Now, with the inclusion of moderating effects, let's see what we get in terms of R square. So, add it. Connect. And this one here. Let's run our PLS algorithm. Now look at this, 5694. So it is 0 0.5694. So it has increased. So moderating effect is actually increasing the explanatory power. That is, your R square value is increased. And this increase is significant as well. How do I know if it's significant? Bootstrap. Quickly do it, start, go to report, F square. Now look at this. If you remove this moderating effect, well, this is, if it's like one tailed, it is significant, less than 0 0.10. Look at this, significant, very slightly over 0 0.05. So if you remove the moderating effect, this will have an impact on the R square value. Now moving on. Now I've done the graphs here. How do I do, do it? Once I get the, the file from this website, OC is my independent variable, conventional in type of the bank, zero means conventional, one means Islamic. What is this? 0 0.0844. So the impact of OC on the dependent variable that is CC. This is the beta coefficient for that. Where is it? Have a look here. Path coefficients here. OC to CC, so independent variable to dependent variable, the impact of moderator that is type of bank on CC because CC is your dependent variable, so type of bank on CC and then the moderating effect that is your interaction. So where is your interaction? Here it is, 0 0.4708, 0 0.4708. Now look at this, how do we interpret this? The first thing that you need to do is you need to look at which of the gradient is steeper. Now, in this case, this gradient here 
the Islamic banks is much steeper than the conventional banks here. The conventional bank is just straight line. The Islamic is dotted line. So how do we interpret it? Let's go back here. So we look at the steepness of gradient to find out whether there are moderating effects or not. Now OC, look at this. Islamic bank is much steeper in comparison to conventional banks. The results revealed a significant moderating role of type of bank on the relationship between OC and collaborative culture. OC and collaborative culture, that is your dependent variable. The plot shows a steeper and positive gradient for Islamic banks. Look at this, Islamic banks. Why positive? Because with the increase of OC, there is an increase in your endogenous variable, that is your collaborative culture, in comparison to the conventional banks whereby you are increasing your organizational commitment but it is not increasing the collaborative culture. This shows that the impact of OC in fostering collaborative culture is stronger in Islamic banks in comparison to conventional banks. Now if you look here, look at this, the line, it is, it is much steeper. So if you are increasing your organizational commitment, this is leading to an increase in collaborative culture. However, here, look at this, although you are increasing, but the increase is not that much for collaborative culture. Similarly, you can do it for the other hypothesis. Let's go back to the other hypothesis. Now, this is the other hypothesis. The results revealed a significant moderating role of type of bank on the relationship between POS, that is perceived organizational support and collaborative culture. The plot shows a steeper and positive gradient for conventional banks in comparison to Islamic banks. Look at this. This is your conventional bank. This is your Islamic. So this here is your Islamic bank. And this here is your conventional bank. Now this is much steeper. Look at this. The gradient is much steeper. The steepness is high. So if you are increasing perceived organizational support for conventional banks, this leads to better improvement in collaborative culture. However, for Islamic banks, although you are increasing POS, but it is not leading to a similar change in collaborative culture. Look at this. The line is much straighter. The dotted line is much straighter in comparison to this straight line here without the dots that represents the conventional banks. Now this shows here that the impact of POS in fostering collaborative culture is stronger in conventional sector banks as compared to Islamic sector banks. So this is how you can use Smart PLS4 for categorical moderating variables. So if you've got a categorical variable that moderates the relationships, this is how you can analyze it in Smart PLS4. Thank you very much.